brings out a very important conclusion that cloud is now beyond the hype. It is happening now. And it's not driven by technology, it's driven by its ability to solve specific business challenges. It's really a defining moment for the CIO because the, businesses are, the business is getting a lot more proactive. Mm -hmm. uh, in an extreme case, the business is going directly to the public cloud. If you think about software as a service. It's not that extreme, is it? Right, it's really it? sort of bypassing the CIO in the extreme. So I think CIOs who don't get it, yeah, basically will become sort of, you could almost say they're becoming cloud interface officers. You know, they're limiting themselves to talking about maybe like standards and, you know, if, if, but those that do get it, on the other hand, and if you think about the upside, is they become a lot more systematic, they become a lot more systemic to the business. In other words, really not just focusing on cost and efficiency from cloud, but really looking at the effectiveness. In other words, how can cloud drive my business? How can cloud make me more innovative in the front of my customer's customer, the ultimate customer, if you will? Yeah. And so I think those CIOs that embrace cloud will become a lot more relevant to their companies to the point where basically they may even assume responsibility for some shared services or for operations or some processes because at the end of the day all this is driven by IT which in turn is driven by cloud. The ability to adapt quickly to a market. This is a big, big business challenge. There's a lot of things that can change in a or need to change when you need to adapt quickly. But one of the barriers has often been the IT systems. Another thing is people want to get their products to market quickly. They want to do innovation uh, and they want to collaborate better. And what we see here is that people actually think that cloud can help them do that. Meta made the point about how improving service levels and the ability to deliver service in the organization is one of those key things that people are trying to solve. You can paraphrase that as aligning business and IT uh, goals. Yes. On the one hand, enterprise CIOs are facing an increasingly critical business owner where they basically say, look, you know, we have to make do with less, we have to cut costs, we have to become more flexible, we have to squeeze more productivity out of our scarce talent, we have to embrace consumerization, which is definitely coming into IT. A whole host of trends that aren't completely new or surprising to most of us. Now, if you look on the other hand at the supply side expectations of IT, in other words, the expectations of the CEO, the CFO, the board of the IT function, certainly they center very much around, you know, making do more with less, in other words, capital efficiency, but also bringing new services to the end user a lot faster than in the past without all the time incurring a very high upfront capex investments. In other words, being quicker with the innovation, but it just can cost a lot of stuff. It's an infrastructure as a service offering. We're the first continental European service provider to offer this that is fully VMware certified. But the beauty for the customer, and this comes back to what you said about choice and control, is for the customer, they're used to running the virtual environment in a certain way with a specific control center, et cetera. And with this service, it so happens that some of these servers, these virtual servers, sit in our data center, but it's exactly the same control, the same flexibility that customers used to from an on-premise perspective. So it's a great example of a hybrid cloud. So what we've done, Mike, is we've invested a lot in education and awareness. We've gone to great lengths to get a, a number of certifications in the arena, including the ISA 27000 family. But we have also just released a white paper on what makes our cloud particularly secure. And one of the interesting things that our audience will learn there is we have more than 500 people just dedicated to IT security. So it's a tremendous investment to ensure that CIOs stay safe.